Oral hygiene has become a routine part of the lives of most people in developed countries, but it's relatively new from a historical standpoint. Toothbrushing was mandated for a few soldiers in the First World War who carried toothbrushes attached to their uniforms, and it was expected during the Second World War. Numerous advancements have been made since then. There are now several well-accepted methods for adequate oral hygiene and effective preventive dentistry that will be discussed in this video. There are many reasons to clean your mouth. Some are for health reasons and others are for appearance and better acceptance by your friends. A pleasant smile is known to be important in your work while with your friends and family and for your own self-esteem. Without a clean mouth, oral conditions degenerate, tooth decay and gum diseases are present, and it's difficult for any person to have a pleasant smile. The creamy looking dental plaque you are observing as indicated by the arrows is a combination of food debris, dead and live bacteria, their excrement, and pigments from the debris. Dental plaque forms on your teeth rapidly if you do not clean your teeth and mouth. Plaque must be removed at least once every 24 hours to prevent decay and gum disease. One of the most effective times is immediately before going to bed each night. Your dentist or dental hygienist will instruct you on the frequency of mouth cleaning for your specific need. Cleaning your mouth does reduce offensive mouth odors. Food debris collects around and in between teeth as shown by the arrows on the image. The mouth you are observing has accumulated food debris, plaque, and hard deposits called tartar. This mouth smells like stale coffee and cigarettes. The strong odor is offensive to anyone close enough to smell it. Even the superficial debris cannot be removed unless the teeth are brushed and a piece of string called dental floss is manipulated between the teeth to remove the fermenting food. Bad breath is an impediment to your social life and it certainly does not improve your love life. Cleaning your mouth does reduce dental decay. It's been discovered that for dental plaque to reach a harmful level that causes tooth decay, must be on the teeth for at least 24 hours. Notice the unsightly and painful decay in the patient shown. The frequency and stickiness of eating sugar-containing foods is directly related to dental decay. If the food is sticky or if it's very frequent, you're gonna have decay. If it's not sticky and you take it all at once, you'll have less decay. When stale plaque is combined with sticky sugar-containing foods, dental decay forms, as has happened in the mouths you've just observed. Cleaning your mouth reduces gum and bone disease. Dental plaque and the hardened version of plaque, called tartar, are some of the causative reasons for gum and bone degeneration called periodontal disease. The patient you are observing has soft cream colored plaque and the pigmented dark hardened version of it, tartar, mostly under the gums as shown on the model you're now observing. This causes the gums to recede and develops pockets around the teeth. The accumulations cause disease and may require removal of the teeth. Cleaning your mouth prevents unattractive tooth and gum appearance. The patient you are observing has allowed plaque, food debris, and tartar to form over many years. The result is an unpleasing appearance, very bad breath, and the necessity to remove some teeth because of decay and periodontal disease. All of this disease could have been prevented with proper oral hygiene. There are many alternatives for cleaning your mouth and preventing tooth decay and periodontal disease. The most frequently used methods for cleaning your mouth and teeth are toothbrushing, flossing, tongue cleaning, fluoride application, rinses, and others. Let's discuss these in more detail. Routine use of manual toothbrushes has been around for many years, but proper use of these brushes is observed only infrequently. The several examples shown are available in grocery stores, pharmacies, and variety stores. Talk to your dentist or hygienist about the specific toothbrush type preferred for their patients.
The shape of the brush is not as important as how you use it to be discussed later. Toothbrushes are not expensive and they should be replaced as soon as the bristles become worn or bent. In the past, mechanical toothbrushes were very expensive, but now many brands of mechanical toothbrushes such as those shown may be purchased for only slightly more than manual toothbrushes. Some of the more expensive brands still need your attention. Use of mechanical toothbrushes requires caution, however, to avoid abuse to your teeth or gums. Ask your dentist or hygienist about their proper use and frequency of use. Mechanical toothbrushes can be more effective than manual toothbrushes in some situations. Daily use of toothpaste has been a major agent in prevention of dental decay. Public health professionals have stated that the small amount of fluoride contained in most toothpaste has been the primary reason for the reduction in dental decay observed over the past 50 years. You need to use only a small amount on your toothbrush about the size of a garden pea. Most toothpaste companies have a form of toothpaste that reduces or eliminates tooth sensitivity. If this is one of your challenges, please talk to your dentist or dental hygienist about the available tooth desensitizing toothpaste and other techniques. Some people do not recognize the importance of dental floss. Use of dental floss or tape at least once every 24 hours or whenever a piece of food is caught between your teeth is a very important part of dental hygiene. There are many types of dental floss and tape available. Some more expensive brands slide between teeth much easier than standard floss or tape. If you do not have any reasons to avoid fluoride, it is well known to be the most effective chemical to reduce the occurrence of dental decay. There are numerous fluoride containing materials available to you, some over the counter, in your pharmacy or grocery store, and other stronger forms by prescription from your dentist. Fluoride may be used in toothpaste, as a rinse, as a gel applied to your teeth by you or your practitioner, or as a supplement to your diet. Discuss your fluoride needs with your dentist or dental hygienist. Your tongue is the home for millions of bacteria. Routine cleaning of the tongue can assist in reducing or eliminating tooth decay, periodontal disease, and especially bad breath. Inexpensive tongue cleaners are readily available. Their proper use will be shown later. Oral rinses vary from stimulating flavored alcohol to those that actually have a medicinal value. This popular rinse is a tangy alcohol containing solution that freshens breath for a few minutes. These rinses contain low level fluoride and are indicated when a patient has a minimal level of active dental decay. Stronger therapy is advocated for higher levels of decay activity. These two rinses actually kill oral bacteria and assist in controlling plaque, bad breath, and the described dental diseases. Every dentist or dental hygienist has a favorite way for brushing teeth. Let's demonstrate a typical one on this model. Using a soft or medium toothbrush bristle on one of the modern toothbrushes available in any store, place the brush at about a 45 degree angle to the front surfaces of the teeth. Start a slight rotating motion, letting the bristles go between the teeth and slowly roll the brush the way the teeth grow. Repeat that several times and move forward to the next segment. Rotate slightly and roll down. Continue all the way around to the other side. Then go on to the inside of the teeth. Using the same motion, 45 degree angle to the back surfaces of the teeth, penetrate into the gum tissue and roll on down. The chewing surfaces of the teeth have many grooves in them. Place the bristles into those surfaces and rotate slightly, letting the bristles go down into the grooves. The inside of the front teeth, upper or lower, 
are difficult to brush. Difficult to get the brush in at the right angle. You may want to turn the brush in this angle and rotate the bristles down. You find which is most appropriate for your mouth. Many people don't floss their teeth, and I don't know why. If the bugs sit on your teeth more than 24 hours, they'll rot the teeth and start gum disease. It's time to start flossing. Use an adequate length of floss. Let's have a typical patient demonstrate how to use the floss. You may think it's simple, but it's not quite so simple. Let's look. You're looking at the beautiful smile of a young adult male. Let's demonstrate flossing. He's going to floss gently down between the contact areas of a given tooth. And let's gently go below the gum and floss back and forth and back and forth. Now he's going to move the floss without taking it out to the other side of the tooth and gently go below the gum. Very good. Now that cleans the plaque off and it should be done once every 24 hours. In summary, and on a back tooth, let's go down between the contacting area gently and go back and forth below the gum, move it over to the other side and go back and forth below the gum and gently take it out. Well, what did you see on flossing? Use an adequate length of floss. Start somewhere comfortable like upper right. Move around on the uppers, then move around on the lowers. Every contacting area of the teeth. Go down between the contacting areas of the teeth, floss one side of the tooth, and go on to the other side of that contacting area, and then gently pull it out. That will significantly reduce tooth decay. Here's a good looking normal guy. What do you think he has on his tongue? Let's see what his tongue looks like. Place your tongue out for us and you'll see a little gray on there. 50% of people need to clean their tongue. His is pretty good. If your tongue looks gray, you really need to clean it. About 90% of bad breath comes from the tongue. Let's clean this tongue. Using a typical tongue cleaner, let's look at our patient and Let's go back into the mouth, pushing down about one pound and gently pull forward. And he should clean that several times right after breakfast and just before going to bed. If your tongue is gray, you pull it out and look. If it's gray, you need to clean it. Place the tongue cleaner back as far as you can go without gagging. Push down about one pound and pull forward. Some of you will need a towel or something to catch the debris. Others won't and repeat that a couple of times until you get no more scum off the tongue. And you will create a much better environment overall for oral health. Every dental practice has somewhat different approaches to oral hygiene and prevention of dental disease. Please consult with your dentist or dental hygienist about the best methods for you specifically to use. There are many methods to control dental disease today, and with patient cooperation, dental disease is almost totally preventable. <laughs>